So now we're going to proceed on the other hospital housekeeping activities of which is taking care of bedpans and urinals. So as bedpans, since we don't have any like bedpans or anything, I have here a basin of which will, for this video, will resemble a bedpan or a urinal. So basically what we're going to promote here is for just the maintenance of the bedpans or the urinals and to keep them uh, in a good condition. So in this way, we can provide a good uh, condition, a conditioned bedpans to our patients. So in this way, we can provide a conditioned bedpan or urinals to our patient. So I'm actually wearing an apron and a pair of gloves since we can't afford to like uh, spatter ourselves or splash ourselves with water while cleaning our bed pads and urinals so this will be a great protection so with that being said we're going to start okay, so our materials would be just uh, soap a Lysol so we don't actually have Lysol right now in our house so we're just going to use like water just in a spray bottle just to represent Lysol so yeah and a source of water source of water so we're going to start so we, so we have to first consider our the area of the bedpan which there are less contamination so that that area would be the place or would at least be a place where we can hold the bedpan so this area over here is less contaminated so we are going to hold it on this area and this area will be like contaminated actually it depends on the situation of which what condition the patient what condition the patient is right now if the patient is experiencing diarrhea or any gastrointestinal uh, infection of which possibly the bedpan will be covered with some liquids or any substances rather than in here or Rather than in here, so maybe there would be some other substances around the bedpan. So we have to be careful. That's why we're using gloves, okay? So we're going to start by washing or pouring water from the least contaminated area to the most contaminated area. In a circular motion and rotating the basin, we can evenly uh, distribute the water. Now we're going to proceed on uh, using a soap. So this is a liquid soap. I'm just going to spray it here. Now we're, I actually forgot to like introduce this is what this would be the brush that we're going to use. So we're going to start from the last contaminated area to the to the most contaminated area. So we're going to start from this upper part from the top and down to the bottom and this will go to the center of the basin. Now since we already done that, we're going to pour we're going to pour another water. We're going to actually rinse down the soap. Let's do it twice so that we can assure that we can we will we will remove all will remove all the excess soap. Now we're going to spray our AKA Lysol from the least contaminated area. So since we already sprayed this with Lysol, we're going to use another piece of brush to evenly spread the Lysol. So we're going to start from the least contaminated area. Now we're just going to let the Lysol do its part 
to disinfect all the remaining microorganisms. So let's just say we've waited uh, 10 to 15 minutes and now we're going to proceed on our next procedure which is we're going to rinse out the remaining uh, soap or the light soap. From the least contaminated area to the most contaminated area. Do it twice. So now we're going to let our bedpan dry by placing it on our bedpan rack. 